guys welcome back okay so you guys know i'm going through my makeup collection by color and this is proven to be a little bit more daunting and difficult than i thought it was going to be because i was like oh that's easy blues purples greens reds whatever okay so today is reds obviously but as I was going through my palettes, I don't have a lot of palettes that are just all specifically red. I have a few, but then there are some palettes that kind of have like a few reds, but then a whole bunch of warm tones or a few reds and maybe a sprinkle of this and a sprinkle of that. So I just pulled the palettes that I felt like if I was thinking about doing a red eye look, these are ones that I could grab and it's like, okay, I know I can get a red look out of this. So those are the palettes that I grabbed today. Now I was kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do the rest of my collection because all the rest of the colors of the rainbow, I really don't have a lot. So I think I'm just going to do like maybe warm tone palettes um cool tone palettes and then maybe rainbow palettes and call it a day so i don't know if there'll be some crossover because like i said this has gotten a little bit out of hand <laughs> but it's all good though i'm not gonna give up even if i do this and then do warm tones and then just do rainbow colorful palettes because that's probably going to be last um yeah i'm gonna get through it okay like I said in a previous video, I might have to do some collection videos as well, like all of my ColourPop palettes, all of my... I already have a Juvia's Place palette video, so I don't think I'm going to do that. But maybe something like all of my ColourPop palettes, all of my indie brand palettes, yada, yada, yada. I'm talking way too much. But I just want you guys to understand my thought process with going through my palettes for this series. I'm feeling like, okay, I should have just did a palette collection and split it up into four videos because this is ridiculous, <laughs> but let's just jump right in and take a look at palettes that are either red or that I feel like belong in this category, okay? So let's start off with this Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions, okay? Obviously, this is 100% a red palette. Gorgeous very very pretty i've only used this palette once so i can only state my opinion from that and i had a positive experience with it not negative i do have a video if you want to check it out i think i used it in a coffee and color with kk but next i have here from beauty glazed this is the mars palette and this is actually supposed to be a dupe i believe for that hood of beauty that i just showed you guys they duped all of her palettes <laughs> and from what I understand they're pretty decent I have not used them yet I don't know I just haven't you guys but and so let me show you the palette that I used on my eyes today it is one of their new mini pro eyeshadow palettes this is volume one and you guys I don't want to spoil it because I did do a video using this palette but I like this palette I really do but this is what this palette looks like so this is volume one and as you can see, there's some really pretty red tones in here. It's just a nice warm tone palette with a red kind of feel to it. But yeah, they did a whole little collection of four palettes, volumes one through four, with different, you know, color stories in those palettes. And so this is volume one. I do have the whole collection of four. So after using that one, I'm actually thinking about doing a series using all those palettes. Now, this one is the ColourPop Main Squeeze. This one is fairly new to my collection. I showed this in my last haul because I did pick this up in my last haul. Very, very pretty palette. I know you guys are familiar with this already. Um, I actually decided to grab this palette after I saw my girl London Makeup Artistry. Hey girl, <laughs> I saw her do a look with her palette and I was like, uh-uh, I want that palette too. So I got that one. Now this is another red tone palette from Ace Beauty. This one was part of their, um, I don't remember the name of the collection, but this is the Blossom Paradise palette. Very pretty packaging. I did videos on all of the palettes in that collection, but 
this palette has like reds and pinks in it. So as you can see, you know, on this side, you get your reds and on this side, you get your pinks. So you can create both type of looks or you can combine them together. But this is a very pretty palette. I need to play in this palette more because when I did use it, I wasn't that happy with the look that I did. Like I said, I'm not really a red eyeshadow type of chick, but this palette is very nice as well. The whole collection is nice, especially the purple palette. I don't I think it's Paradise Fallen or something like that. Gorgeous purple palette. Okay, now this palette is one that my daughter bought me. She's so sweet. Of course, you know why she bought me this palette because it's shaped in a K. Hello, colorful Camille. And this was the Keisha K. Orr palette, her first palette that she came out with. And, you know, it was really, it's really more of like a collector's item for me. It's very <laughs> awkward, not very easy to use, not very easy to hold and all that stuff. So it is an awkward palette, but, you know, I think it's very cute. And it's a red-based palette. You know, it's something that was cute, came out around Valentine's Day. But as you can see, it is extremely awkward and strange. But I'm actually really glad that I have this because it's cute, nice little keepsake. It's a K. And my daughter bought it for me, okay? So, you know, of course, this has a special place in my heart. Okay, so next I have the Morphe 3502. You guys know that this is one of their warm earthy brown palettes with a couple of pops of red in it <laughs> but I definitely think of this palette whenever I'm thinking about red eyeshadow because I know that this is just a brown palette with a couple of pops of red so it's a very pretty palette though even the kind of orangey tones in here you can definitely create a beautiful red toned look with this palette next i have the 3503 <laughs> i actually really really love this palette i need to do another video for you guys on this palette because i did one video and i really really liked it but the color scheme in this palette is gorgeous to me i love the burgundies the reds the little pop of green is cute in there or whatever <laughs> but yeah, this palette is really, really pretty and it performs really nicely. So it's just a nice, beautiful, warm, orangey, red tone palette to have. I'm really glad I have this in my collection. And I also like the packaging. The packaging is fire, okay? Literally. Okay, next I have this Blushing Berries palette from Dose of Colors. I really like this palette as well. Um... It's all matte <laughs> and you guys know I love matte shadows. This is what this palette looks like. So, you know, it has your light shades and that black to where you can smoke it out. But it's a very pretty red berry themed palette. Easy, easy eye look to create. Very easy. Next, this is new to my collection. This is one of the Revolution color books. This one is 03, okay? Only thing I hate is it's so hard to open these freaking palettes, especially when you have on nails, but this is what it looks like. And this one, I thought about using this one today, but I wasn't really in the mood. This one has your reds, your kind of orangey tones, and your splashes of yellow in there. So yeah, this is one of their color books. I just got these and I have not tried this out yet. I do have a video on the blue green one though, if you want to check it out. <laughs> okay, next I have one of my Bad Habit palettes. This one is the Aphrodite, okay? Pick this up um, from Shop Hush when they were open. And of course, you guys know this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. And for the longest time, I didn't have that palette, but I just recently picked up the remastered one. So this is what the Bad Habit one looks like. Not a completely red palette, but of course you can see there's some beautiful red tones in there for you to create an eye look with. And this here is the actual Huda Beauty. And this one is the Rose Gold Palette Remastered. This packaging, oh my goodness, so, so pretty. And like I said, it's not, look at this, okay? Look at this, so gorgeous. But yeah, it's not a red palette. 
like it's definitely not a red palette but the red shadows in here mixed with the berry tones you know you can get a gorgeous red eye look out of this just using those two shades or really those these three shades here you can get a really pretty red eye look so this is one of the palettes where i was kind of like back and forth you know eh, it's not really red but with the red and berry tone in there you can get a red look this one here, my Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Ah, so cute. Was a gift to me from my girl DJ. What's up, D-Jizzle? <laughs> this is what this palette looks like. Okay, we just, we died. We had to have this when it came out. It was like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous, so pretty. And once again, while it's not a red palette, you can definitely use these shades to get a red berry toned eye look out of this palette and i think it's absolutely gorgeous very very pretty okay so next i have here this ace beauty Ooh, child i'm not putting my glasses on okay what is this this is the grandiose palette okay i got this in a boxy charm i believe never used it and honestly it's not because I didn't want to use it, but this palette got such mixed reviews. Some people either hated it and a lot of people love it. So I need to use it to come up with my own conclusion. But yeah, I just haven't used it. It was kind of like, okay, now I have all these preconceived notions that it's a terrible palette. And that happens a lot of times and I'll use something and it's like, I like it. <laughs> so... I didn't give it away. I kept it in my collection and I will be using it. Okay, next I have this Lit palette from ColourPop. I believe this was part of the, is it the Bretman Rock collection? Is that who did this? Honey, I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, Bretman and ColourPop. So yeah, it's the Lit palette. Never use this. I actually um, am pretty much probably going to depot this. <laughs> Once I get through my ColourPop um, palettes to show you guys, I'm probably going to depot this because this red shadow in here and this gold shadow, ooh, child. Okay, I didn't use the palette, but I swatched it. And yeah, I definitely want those two in my um, singles collection. But this is what this palette looks like. So this shadow here and this shadow here, bomb, Okay. And I think this yellow is actually not that bad either. So yeah, another palette that I really need to use. This palette I got, uh, bought it for myself for my birthday a few years ago. I think when it first came out, actually, this was the ColourPop and Karuchi, um Femme Rosa palette from the She Collection and beautiful beautiful packaging as you can see and I was like oh my gosh it's so gorgeous and it's not even a red palette now that I look at it it's really not it's more kind of like a rosy berry tone palette I don't really know how to describe these shadows all I know is that I don't like them don't like them I'm actually shocked that I still have this palette I don't like it <laughs> so this one probably really needs to be decluttered I don't like this palette but it's really pretty and it does have a little bit of sentimental value because I did buy it for myself on my birthday and used it. But mm, yeah, I don't like it at all. Next, I have this whatever palette. <laughs> it's newer to the ColourPop collection. It's hard to say something is new to the ColourPop collection because they come out with stuff every day. So they probably released about 30 palettes since this came out. And so it's hard to say. But this palette, this is what this one looks like. And it is so, so pretty. And once again, it's not a completely red palette. But when using this palette, I would definitely be going for kind of like that red toned, smoky look. Especially if I use these shades over here and just kind of deepen it up with that. This palette is bomb. I really like this palette, you guys. If you're looking for something with this color scheme in it. I mean, these shimmers, oh, I know a lot of people don't like glitter. There's a glitter in there and a super shock shadow, but this color scheme for this palette, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Next, I have here my Milani Gilded Rouge, another palette that I was going back and forth 
whether or not to put it in this series because it definitely has a berry feel to it, borderline purplish feel to it, not so much red red, but the color scheme in here, I have actually used like just these shadows together, like these four shadows, and my eye look looks red <laughs> when I do that. So I know that I can get a red eye look out of this just using these shades here. If I want to kind of bury it up, I can add some of these with the shimmer and stuff. So it's a really pretty versatile palette. This is a good palette right here. It really is. It's a good palette. I do have a video using this. Um, but yeah, I can definitely get a red eye look out of this palette as well. Next, I have here my Kaleidos Futurism 2. This is the Cyber Bronze palette. And this palette is really, really pretty. As you can see, there is a gorgeous, gorgeous red in here. This shimmer, beautiful bronzy red tone. Um, so their palettes are very, very simple. Six shadows of amazing quality okay so it's very easy to create basic eye looks with this or you can get a little bit intricate if you want to with cut creases and stuff but it's definitely an amazing eyeshadow formula and the reds in here oh so so pretty my goodness this center shade that shimmer eh, i'm not swatching because i'm gonna be here all day <laughs> i'm already talking too much okay but I actually have videos on these palettes if you want to check them out. Next, I have here a palette that's very new to my collection as well. I just picked this up from Ulta. It was on sale and it just kept calling my name and calling my name. So I finally picked it up. This one is the NYX Ultimate. Um, what is the name of this one? Phoenix. Yeah, this is the Phoenix palette from NYX. You guys, I just, I had to get it. Every time I went to Ulta, every time I was on Ulta shopping, it's been on sale forever. And so I finally picked it up and I really am curious about the quality of this because NYX is a very hit or miss company when it comes to eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm really curious as far as how I'm going to feel about this. But as you can see, there's some really pretty reds in there that I can play with. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, now this palette is new to my collection and I'm so excited that I got it. This is the Give Me Glow Christmas Morning Palette, okay? The infamous Christmas Morning Palette. I got my hands on it, okay? <laughs> I'm so glad. I believe they're making it permanent now if it's not already permanent. So yeah, I got this palette. Look at this packaging. This is so cute, okay? And this palette, of course, is not an all red palette, but I could not leave it out because there's some gorgeous redness going on in here. This matte and this shimmer, I know that would create a bomb red eye look, okay? Smoke it out, blend it out, transition it out, okay? <laughs> I cannot wait to dive into this palette. I'm gonna have to do a red look and then I'm gonna have to do a green look and then I'm gonna have to do a crazy look, so... Yeah, I can't wait to use this palette. So, so pretty. Okay, next I have my Delancey Flamboyance palette. Ah, uh, look at the packaging. So, so cute. Okay, I love this palette. This is an amazing red palette, okay? When I created my look with this palette, I was like, whoa, 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 okay? Yes, I have a video using this palette, but this is Delancey, very affordable, and these shadows are gore just gorgeous so so pretty rich beautiful shimmers that black is like a blackout black <laughs> so yeah really really nice palette now this palette here was from that wild collection that makeup revolution came out with i only did a video using the bright colorful palette but i did use this palette and i liked it it was decent not my favorite red palette but i know look at that packaging okay hello but yeah not my absolute favorite red tone palette because it kind of has like a corally feel to it more so than a red feel but when i use this palette my eye look looks red so that's why i included this because you know if you use this red shade this red shade this this if you use any of those your eye look is going to be red but there are some really pretty light coral shades a yellow a white 
and kind of like some warm tone earthy shimmers in here so like I said it's not my favorite palette you guys know revolution is hit or miss I really bought these palettes really for the packaging <laughs> but it's a decent enough palette you know just to create a nice simple look so very very pretty next I have my Jaclyn Hill is this the ring the alarm yeah, the Ring the Alarm palette, okay, from her collection. And I kind of went back and forth on this one. I mean, I guess it's a red tone palette. This is another one of those color schemes that's kind of weird to me because it's kind of like in between reddish, mauvey, pinky, warmy, earthy. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> you know, like, honestly, what is it? Um, I know if I use this palette, I'm going to get a red tone look. You know, if I use this and this and this, I'm going to get a red tone look. So I consider it one of my red tone palettes, but it's kind of like one of those strange color schemes as well. Haven't used it yet, so I couldn't tell you on the quality. I've used the Dark Magic. I love that palette. Love it. Okay. But this one is still pending for review. Okay. Let me just get this out of the way, okay? Because I do have quite a few of his palettes in my collection because I am a makeup lover and collector and I do what I want to do with my money. <laughs> so this is the Blood Sugar palette. I actually didn't buy this palette. It was actually gifted to me. Um, but yeah, I have the Blood Sugar palette and this is what the Blood Sugar looks like. I know you guys are familiar with it definitely a red tone red based palette with a few sprinkles of like fuchsia and berry tones in there gorgeous palette amazing quality um but yeah so i have this very very cute and my video showing my blue collection i completely forgot that i had the blue blood because <laughs> I have it put away on a shelf because I really don't use it and I totally forgot that I had it and one of my viewers was like what about the blue blood totally forgot about it but I have that too okay next Pat McGrath what is this the bronze seduction bronze seduction okay okay so you guys know what this gorgeous Pat McGrath bronze seduction palette looks like uh gorgeous this palette is so bomb <laughs> so so bomb okay words cannot even express it's very very bomb but this shade here that red it just if you use it it's gonna take your eye look to a whole new beautiful red dimension we got this beautiful specialty shade here that looks green it's just all everything in here is just beautiful it's gorgeous i did do a video using this i might have done a couple of videos using this actually but yeah this red here gorgeous and mix it with this oh my goodness honey bomb i won't say worth every penny because i feel like pat mcgrath is overpriced but that's just my personal opinion okay next here let's talk about this little tati beauty palette okay <laughs> Tati Beauty, nice, sleek, generic, but still beautiful packaging. And you guys already know, this is what the palette looks like. And I had to include this because this last row over here, these red slash berry tones, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. So I had to include this even though it's not a red palette. It has a whole row of, you know, red berry tones for you to get a red berry look. So very, very gorgeous. I love this palette, by the way. Okay, next here I have one of my Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palettes. This is the HG Holy Grail. And although this is not a red palette either, I wanted to go ahead and throw this in because it does have that red berry feel going on in here okay so if you use this palette and you venture anywhere over to this side of the palette which of course i will <laughs> i'm going to get a red tone look so this is what this palette looks like very very neutral uh semi semi warm tone and it's just you know of course you guys know me this is not a palette that i would gravitate to 
And if I did, I'm over here. I'm in the red. <laughs> so that's basically why I threw this in because, you know, I wouldn't go in just for this because those shades are too light, too bland for my taste. But definitely I would get my, my red berry tone on in here. Another palette that has some beautiful reds in here. This is the Certify Affinity palette. Is this the first one? Yeah, this is the first one. They have an Affinity too that has like the blues and greens, but this one has like the reds, orange, purple, stuff like that, pinks in here. So this is the Certify Affinity palette, the first one. And y'all see them reds up in there, honey? Yeah. Some serious reds going on. It's very, very pretty. But this palette as a whole is gorgeous. I mean, the reds and pinks and purples together. You want to talk about a beautiful sunset type of look? Yes, for sure. Out of this palette. Are there any shimmers in here? I don't know, honey. But this palette is pretty with some gorgeous reds. Y'all know I don't mind an all matte palette at all. Okay, so I have a few palettes that have some gorgeous reds in them or red tones in them. This one is the Juvia's Warrior 2 palette. Okay, y'all know it's not a red palette at all, but just the whole theme of it just makes me think, okay, I want to get my red on when I pick up this palette because it's like beautiful, warm, earthy tones. But if you use this right here, you're going to get a little bit of redness in your eye look, okay? It's going to come off a little bit that brick, that beautiful deep brick shade of red. Yeah, you're going to get that if you use that. Mixing it with these, oh, so, so gorgeous. And it's an all matte palette, so you know this is right up my alley. Beautiful, beautiful shades. All matte, gorgeous, but this shade here, beautiful. Speaking of Juvia's Place, I have here the Saharan 2 by Juvia's, another palette that is not a red palette, but <laughs> let's take a look at this mug. Okay, you guys see this? If you use these shadows and this shimmer, honey, you're going to get a red eye look, okay? This palette is so freaking pretty. Juvia's shimmers are the bomb to die for. But this shade right here, oh, gorgeous. You know what? It's, it's like, dang, I want to use this palette right now. I'm going to just wipe off my eyes and use this palette right now. If I had thought about it, I'd have used this shadow and used this palette. But gorgeous, gorgeous red tone, brick tone eyeshadow. Now, this is a palette that I have not used, have not tried. It's called Watch Me Blush. And this is from the Crayon Case. Okay, I have had this palette for quite a while. Actually, this was a gift. My daughter, she gifts me stuff all the time, but this was a gift from her and I never got around to use it. I think I swatched it and that was about it. I'm kind of scared to use it because my girl, Lily, she didn't really care for this palette. <laughs> she just decluttered it. So I'm kind of scared to use this palette, but you guys know how I am. I will try it and, you know, decide for myself if I like it or not. But yeah, I've just kind of been hesitating using it because of that. But, and it's kind of like a strange um, selection of shades. You know, it's like you have these warm tones up here, your reds, your oranges, this nice little transition shade. Then you have like these deep tones here, some beautiful golds. Then this pop of yellow shimmer and pinky shimmer and then turquoise shimmer. It's just a strange collection of shadows to me. So it's not something that I gravitate to, but there is a bomb red up in that mug. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to try it out and see what's going on. I'm kind of more likely to use these as highlighters and contours and maybe use the red as a blush than anything else. So we'll see. Okay, I want to talk about a couple more Juvia's Place palettes. Um, this one is the Queen palette by Fumi Desiluvo. She came out with this palette. And it's a multi-use palette because you can use this as an eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, a highlighter palette. You know, a lot of different uses for this palette. And it does have this bold 
bold red shade right there in the center of the palette. So very easy um, primary color red to use if you're looking for that in your collection. Very, very easy. It's a really pretty palette. The purple, the red, the pink. It's like they're just very, you know, how can I say? It's just a very primary or secondary toned palette. Red, purple, pink. You know what I mean? It's like there's no kind of purplish color or pinkish color. It's purple, it's pink, it's red. That's it. <laughs> so... I really like this palette for that. If you want to, if you're trying to use those specific colors, you can get it in this palette. The highlighter shades are very, very pretty. This shade here is a beautiful transition. It's a nice blush shade too. So very nice palette with a red in it. And this palette here, the Berries palette, it is not, I don't know. It's like, it's not a red palette. It's not red, but it wouldn't really go with my purples either. So unless I do a berry palette collection video, which I'm not going to do, I have to stick it somewhere. <laughs> so I'm sticking it in here with the reds and the berries. But this is her new berries palette, okay? And as you can see, beautiful berry tone shades in here. The pinks, the kind of deep plum shade, and then whatever this is up here, you know, it's kind of like that brick type red. So these colors right here definitely give you a beautiful red tone eye look. And then when you mix in the berry or the pink, and then this up here will add some purple flair to it. It's just a really, really gorgeous palette. I did do a video on this. If you're curious, check it out. <laughs> but yeah, these shades over here, definitely red tone, beautiful. Another palette that kind of falls in the berry tone theme more so than red, I think. But I also think about this palette too whenever I think about that type of a look. This is my Lime Crime Venus Excel palette, okay? Ugh. I need to use this palette more because I love this palette. And it's like I always forget about it. But the shades in here, it's kind of hard when they do a gold background because sometimes the background of a palette kind of distorts the colors of the shadows, but this is definitely along the berry mauve tone palette. Um, but this shade down here, oh my goodness. It's like the deepest, richest wine shade in life. <laughs> Okay, it is so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. So I wouldn't necessarily think about, oh, a red tone eye look when using this palette. But if I did go in with like just this shade and this shade over here, my eye look, it's going to look red toned. That deep red tone, mm, borderline berry. But yeah, it's it's a very gorgeous palette. Stuck it in here because like I said, I don't know where to stick it, okay? It's berry, it's mauve, it's fuchsia, you know, so here we are. I just had to swatch that. Look at that. Do you see that? Oh, that brick, that brick house, that brick. <laughs> it's so pretty. That color is called Botticelli, okay? Botticelli is the bombicelli, okay? Okay, next I want to talk about a couple of Milani palettes that have a bit of a red tone to them. Not necessarily red palettes, but Milani makes a lot of palettes that have like a red tone to them. This is the Milani Everyday Eyes palette. So it looks like this. And this palette actually, it's a trip because it's like a bunch of shimmers and a black. <laughs> a bunch of shimmers in a black so if I go to this palette I'm definitely using these shades here and they are definitely red based shades so if I'm looking for like a really pretty red toned shimmer then yeah I can definitely get it out of here it won't be like a super bold red tone but if I use them you know it's going to take my look to kind of like a red toned red tone eye look. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there so you can see those red tone shimmers. Also from Milani, I have my Gilded Desires. These reflective packaging, but this is my Gilded Desires. And 
as you can see it's a really basic palette with a couple of pops of red in here this palette is i think it's more focused along the lines of the shimmers and the highlighters that they have in here these two highlighters down here of course there's the black some cool tone transition shades and then you have your red pops and then your golds in there. Um, you know, it's like a lot of my Milani palettes look so freaking similar that, you know, if I declutter five of them, I won't miss them. So just looking at these two palettes, you can see how similar they are, you know, side by side as far as what's actually in them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Yeah, these two palettes are very, very similar. Neither one of which is necessary to my collection. So they might be on the next declutter bus. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about a few more palettes, you guys, that have reds in them. This is my 80s Baby palette from Pinky Rose. Look at that packaging. So cute. I'm not an 80s baby. I wasn't born in the 80s. But I... uh you know, most of my childhood was in the 80s. Well, all of it. Well, not all of it. Most of my childhood was in the 80s. So this palette here, lots of bold, beautiful colors. But as you can see, there are some bright red pops of color in here that will give you a seriously bold red eye look. If you do use those, definitely get a bold red eye look. Not anything muted or dull, so... Just want to show you this one. Next, I have my NYX Swear By It palette. Another one of those multicolor palettes that I have. Yeah, so this is just another palette where I don't quite know where to stick it because, you know, there's blues and greens in here. And then there's these gorgeous berry tones over here. But because there is a nice little section over here that kind of has warm red tones in there, I wanted to go ahead and include it because that's a pretty gorgeous bold red and if you mix it with these shades over here you're definitely going to get a red eye look but like i said very very multi-colored eyeshadow palette the other palette that they came out with is like this size i didn't grab it i don't remember the name of it but i didn't grab that palette i went back and forth and back and forth and i was just like I'm not paying that much for a NYX palette. I'm just not. I don't care how many shadows are in there. I'm not buying it. Okay. So yeah, no, I didn't. Plus, I don't need that palette for sure. I have a lot of rainbow palettes that I love. So I didn't need that one. This one is from Babella Pro. This is called the Basic Bows Palette. And another palette that's not an all red palette, as you can see. But a good portion of this palette is red. This, this palette looks kind of bad. <laughs> looks a little beat up, okay? She's just loved. That's all. She's just loved. But over here, you can see this gorgeous red section. You can definitely get some beautiful red, rosy, berry tone looks. These oranges in here. Gorgeous transition shades. You also get your pops of blues and greens in here as well. Now, they have uh, four palettes that's in this Babella Pro collection that I have. And I have all four of them. But this is the one that has, like, the red tones in it. So, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this one. Ooh, child, I feel myself slowing down. <laughs> These palette videos take a lot out of me because I'm really not one that talks a lot. I really have to, like pump myself up and force myself to do videos where you have to be really chatty and talkative because I'm really, I'm not a talker like that. So yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I know the drama, right? This is a Profusion palette. This is the Sienna's. Okay. Very, very pretty. And this is what she looks like. So very beautiful, warm, earthy palette. Um, definitely get a red tone look if you venture over here, for sure, for sure. But yeah, it really is just kind of like your basic warm tone palette that will take you over into that kind of reddish, brickish 
eyeshadow look. So you guys know Perfusion is mad affordable and their quality is very nice. So yeah, this palette here as well. I also have the Confidence palette from Profusion, which actually is quite reminiscent of the Sienna's, but I think this one pulls a little bit more red in here. Um, and there's some beautiful greens in here as well. So I really, really like this palette because I love the green tones in there, but the beautiful red color story in here, it's just like that nice warm burnt red, you know. And I kind of gravitate more to this kind of, you know, red brick color scheme when it comes to red eye looks because um, unless I'm in the mood, I'm not really wanting a super bold, bright red eye look. And, you know, one that you would get, like, say, like if you use the Fumi palette from Juvia's Place. But this here is just a really nice, beautiful, everyday tone. Okay, you guys, and the last palette that I want to share in this video of red shadows and palettes and da 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 is my Sephora Pro Face Palette. This one is the Deep, okay? So if you're familiar with this palette, you know that there is a serious red in this palette, okay? This is supposed to be like a blush, but honey, I would use it as an eyeshadow, a blush, just whatever, because it's so bold and so pigmented. It's really, really pretty. And combined with these other colors in here, you can use this for your face, for your eyeshadow, your highlight, bronzer, contour, you know, it's kind of like an all-purpose palette, quite honestly. Definitely can use these colors for eyeshadow because they are so bold and so pigmented. So I really, really like this palette. Very, very nice, bold, colorful red shadow in there. Okay, and to wrap up this red makeup collection video, I have a few non-palette items that I want to show you guys. And I know I'm probably going to need my glasses, so let me just cut to the chase. <laughs> okay, this first one is from Milani, and this is my go-to red blush, period, point blank. If I want a red blush on my face and I want it to be easy and I don't have to think about it, I go to the Red Vino from Milani. I know you guys are already familiar with it, but this is the red blush from Milani Red Vino, and it does have a little bit of gold sprinkled throughout. So if you don't like any type of shimmer in your blush, then you don't want this. It's not a super bright, bold shimmer, but you will see that little shine in your blush if you use this, but gorgeous red blush. Next from Black Radiance, I have my Raspberry Blush. So this is what that one looks like. Gorgeous red tone blush. So, so pretty. This is a really, really pretty blush. Um, Occasionally, I feel like sometimes it can get hard pan and then you kind of have to scrape the top off. But this color is so, so pretty. It looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful on women of color. So gorgeous. And lastly, for blush, I have this NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is Red Riot. It's one of their matte, all matte blushes. This is what it looks like. Oh, another beautiful red tone blush, you guys. These blushes you cannot go wrong with. Easily buildable, you know, don't go ham with it because it is pigmented, but it's a very, very beautiful blush. Now, I do have a Super Shock shadow that I want to share with you guys. This one is in the shade Drift. So that is what Drift looks like. I will go ahead and swatch Drift for you. It's very hard to <laughs> pick up a Super Shock shadow without swatching it. So that is Drift. Very, very pretty, deep um, red tone. It looks gorgeous on the eyes. You can see it just has a little bit of shine. It doesn't have that crazy glittery bold shimmer to it but it just has a nice beautiful shine to it when you use it you can just put this on your lid and blow it out and have a nice beautiful red yeah. look and let's just go ahead and close it out with a few of my go-to red lipsticks of course you guys know 
my Fenty Red. What is this called? This is the Stunna Lip Paint, but is that the name of it? I don't know. I'll put the name on the screen. But this is definite go-to red. Her lipsticks are beautiful, bold, pigmented, and comfortable. So easy go-to red. If you want a bright kind of like, is this a blue based or orange based? I don't know. But this red is supposed to look good on anybody. Very, very pretty. Next, I have my LA Girl lipstick in the color Gossip. Y'all know I love my LA Girl matte lipsticks. Oh, look at that. Look at that, just classic, classic red shade. They're so comfortable. They are matte, but not drying. I love my LA Girl lipsticks, okay? This is from CoverGirl, one of their cream lipsticks, and this is in the shade Hot. <laughs> hot, and this shade is hot. It's kind of like an orange-based red, but very, very pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I have to be feeling spunky to wear this, okay? Also, this is a go-to red lipstick of mine. This came in one of my Pat McGrath trios. Unfortunately, I can't read the name. I'll have to put it on the screen. But this one is more kind of like, I don't know. It's more like a brick red. It's someone who wants to wear red, but they don't want to be out there too much. You know, you want to be out in these streets with like a bright, bright red. You know, to me, this is a little bit more toned down, a little bit more on the brick red side, but it's still very, very pretty. Super creamy, super comfortable, absolutely gorgeous. This is a lipstick from Revolution. One of the ones that I picked up from them just to try out some of their cheaper lipstick formulas. This is Freedom and the color on this is Red Expression. Very pretty. Let me show you what this looks like. <laughs> very, very pretty red. This one is kind of like more along your creamy um, with a little bit of sheen, you know, so it's a little less pigmented. It's this one here. It's a little less pigmented as far as being bold and op opaque. But, you know, it's for someone that just kind of likes a toned down red look. Very pretty and extremely affordable. I know I got this on the Revolution site for a couple of bucks, okay? And lastly, I have my MAC. This was their anniversary lipstick, you guys. Look at this packaging, okay? Isn't that gorgeous? So, so gorgeous. And let me show you what this looks like. So this is what this one looks like. And this one is like super duper matte, super duper creamy. So that's this one here. It's a little bit more of your just classic muted red. So yeah, it's not even as bright as the Pat McGrath one, but it's still just a really beautiful classic red shade. Nice and creamy. I mean, you guys, I have so many red lipsticks. Lord, don't let me buy another red lipstick because I don't even wear red lipstick that often. But it's just something about a red lipstick that gets me every time because they're so freaking pretty and they're so classic, you know? So that concludes my whole red makeup collection. Of course, those are not all of my red lipsticks. I have too many to sit here and swatch the same shade of lipstick <laughs> for you guys all night. But just a few of my favorites, easy go-tos if I want just that classic, beautiful pop of red. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for this video showcasing my red makeup collection. I hope you had a good time. And I don't know what my next one is going to be. I really don't. I'm, I'm just confused now, okay? I don't know what I've shown. What I haven't shown is just too much. So we will find out together. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!